What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today we are going to be trying out some really cheap clothing from Timu. If you guys are new here and you haven't seen my previous Timu videos, I'll have a whole playlist right there. Normally the type of videos I do about Timu are like trying unrealistic dresses and that kind of thing. As we all know, Timu is a very inexpensive place to purchase things. However, this video is especially about the cheapest clothing you can find. By cheapest, I mean affordable but still cute so we're gonna be putting these items to the test and see if they're worth the money also before we jump straight into this video I really would love for you guys to check out my previous video after this if you could my previous video was an update of how the house build is going in case you guys missed that I feel like YouTube sometimes hates me and just doesn't recommend the videos that I post to you guys who want to watch it I always get so many messages from you guys saying that you know you've not seen that video because you missed it because YouTube didn't like share it with you which is super annoying so please if you could go check it out that would mean the world to me because I spend so much time like filming and editing these house update videos But yeah, that is my little ramble. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it Okay, so the very first dress that we're gonna be trying out is this one here And I want you guys to guess how much you think this dress costs Honestly when I look at the price It almost feels too good to be true because it was reduced from nine pounds to three pounds sixty what? How could such a cute dress be only £3.60? That does not make sense to me, but honestly, I'm not gonna complain. So this is how the dress has arrived. I am really excited to see what the quality will be like. Okay, first things first, the color. I mean, it's kind of similar, but it's way more like vibrant and neon. I don't know, maybe on camera it looks kind of similar to the photo, but it's definitely way more neon than pastel. And I feel like the pastel color in the photo was much better. Oh. Oh my gosh, this actually feels quite nice. I know it's a really simple dress, but what the heck? Like this was only three pounds. It's got adjustable straps. The fabric is opaque. It's really nice and stretchy. The print is really cute as well. I feel like it's such a summer kind of dress. The best part about this dress is the fact that it's backless. So these little hoops are like the straps that you put your arms through and it's just completely backless. I have to say I'm very impressed by the shape. It's seems to hang really well. It looks very snatched in the waist and it's actually like a maxi dress. So there's quite a lot of fabric to this. How is this £3.60? I have no clue, but I mean, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Obviously, originally this was £9, which I would say is more like reasonable, but £3.60, I just don't understand that. I guess let's just go try this on and see how it fits. I'm so excited. I guess let's just try this on and see how it fits. I'm really excited. Okay. So so here is the first dress and what it looks like on. I have to say, I am so freaking impressed. Look at this dress. I mean, it fits like a dream. It's kind of giving skims. Are you seeing this? The backless back. Oh my gosh, the booty. Everything looks really good. It's giving body, it's giving snatched and the fabric is so comfortable. It's so like buttery smooth. I have to say the color is actually starting to grow on me a little bit. I really like it. I kind of want this dress in every single color possible. Like imagine this in like a baby pink. Oh my gosh. It's just so well fitted to my body. I'm wearing some like seamless underwear. I hope you guys can't like see the lines. But yeah, it's just so well fitted. It goes all the way down to the ground. And I just love the way it looks. It's so cute. I genuinely cannot believe this dress was only three pounds. Like what in the world? This dress is an easy 10 out of 10 for me, you guys. I'm so in love with this. All right, now moving on to the next dress. We're gonna be trying out something very, very extra and it's this dress right here. It's very, very poofy and guess how much this one was because again, I'm kind of mind blown. This dress right here, it says it was reduced from 60 pounds, which you know, I would say that's a reasonable price for that amount of like ruching. However, this dress actually cost 10 pounds, only 10 pounds. That is unbelievable. I'm trying to figure out whether the photo of it is like fake. Maybe they used a photo from another company and then did like a remake for much cheaper. I just have no clue, but this is how it has arrived. Apparently it's from a brand called Catch Me. I didn't even know that Timu stocks other brands, but there you go. Let's see what this is like. Okay, color wise. It is spot on. It's that really hot pink. Very, very Barbie. Okay, so it's got the, what? 
Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Who is she? Why is misguided in the building? <laughs> it came from a brand called Catch Me. What is this? I mean, it's brand new. Okay. This is very strange. Clearly, somebody bought a bunch of misguided stock after they went out of business like years ago. I know that misguided are back and rebranded now, but yeah, this is very interesting. This is what the dress is looking like. I feel like the only reason why this dress is so cheap is because it's clearly like liquidated stock from when they went out of business. Maybe that's where the original 60 pound price point came from. Anyways, let's talk about the dress. So the top, I actually really, really like. It's very, very poofy, very fluffy. It's got that really nice kind Kind of like rubberized band across the top to keep the dress in place. Obviously this dress is strapless so you don't want it riding down. As for the actual skirt of it, it is very very creased. It's so freaking bright that it's kind of making my eyes hurt as I'm looking at it but yeah this is the dress. For £10 I wouldn't say it's bad so let's go try it on and see how it fits. Alright guys so here is the dress and what it looks like on. I feel like this is such a fun dress. Like I said this definitely needs a steam and I feel like it would look so much better but to be honest I'm not gonna bother steaming this because I'm gonna send this back I honestly don't have any place to wear anything like this I just ordered this for the fun of it honestly it's such a fun dress and I feel like somebody out there watching is definitely gonna love this for me though I feel like this is a little bit too extra like I can appreciate the beauty of it but equally, where would you wear something like this? Unless you're going to like a red carpet event or maybe like a super fancy dressed up like birthday party or something like that. I just feel like the average everyday person is not gonna have a place to wear this. With that being said though, I'm very impressed with the fact that this was only 10 pounds. Like that is a steal for a dress like this. The one downside about this dress is the fact that the fabric that this is made out of is very scratchy and just very itchy. So I am getting so irritated like under under my armpits from this dress. Every time I move my arm, it's just like tickling slash scratching my armpit and it does not feel comfortable. This dress is very beautiful, but it's not comfortable. And for that reason, it's going back. So I think on the scale of one to 10, I have to give this like a four. Although it looks really pretty and stunning, it's not very comfortable. So that's why I have to give it a low rating. Okay, moving on to the next dress. We're now gonna be trying out this one here. And honestly, on the model, this looked amazing. I I absolutely love the color. I love like the lace kind of detailing and this was apparently reduced from 15 pounds to 11 pounds. I have it right here. This is how it has arrived. So let's take a look at it together. This is it. <gasps> It's actually quite cute. Okay, this is it. I'm sorry, but this is hella cute. Look at that bodice. Are you seeing this? The sleeves are giving angel vibes. I love this like flared kind of sleeve with the lace. It has this like strap, which I'm guessing you can tie in the back, I think. It then has this ribbon in the front, which I guess you could tie into a bow. I honestly love that like squared neckline and this like boning here, the fake boning. It just looks so cute. And I really, really like the length of the dress as well. It's like a little bit of a short one. It's got a zipper in the back. I love the color so much. It looks pretty snatched. So I feel like we'll get along with this one well. Honestly, you guys, do I even need to say anything? This dress is honestly everything. It does kind of make me look a little bit naked because the lace, like the nude kind of color is so similar to my skin tone, but I think it's very, very adorable. I honestly cannot wait to be able to wear a dress like this somewhere. I am out here praying to the weather gods that the spring turns up because it ain't springing right now. In the UK right now, the weather is just not it, okay? <laughs> but a girl can dream. I'm just gonna play dress up in my room until then. This dress is honestly so much much more expensive looking than it was. It was so cheap, but the quality is actually pretty good. Like it's not see-through, it's got like decent double lining. It fits so well. I love the way that it like fans out at the hips. The sleeves are really nice as well. They kind of have like a rubber band here so that they kind of stay in place. I really, really love that. And then the back, I've just tied it off like this so that the sleeves stay up. It's super flattering. I really, really love it from like all angles. So yeah, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10, you guys. Moving right along, the next dress we're gonna be trying out is this. And again, I felt 
fell in love with it the second I saw it. I'm pretty sure I've tried very similar dresses to this before, but not this particular one. This was eight pounds and it was actually reduced from 10 pounds. It's a little satin number and it definitely makes me think of something that you could find on either O Poly or House of CB. They always have dresses that are kind of like this. Clearly, they're a lot more expensive normally though. So I have a feeling I'm really gonna like this. First things first, this is the dress. It's looking very, very crazy, but it basically is a straight neckline. It has this super stretchy strap that you can use as like the front straps around the arms, but then it also continues around the back into this crisscross kind of detail. The dress feels really, really nice. It's actually double lined with this satin sort of fabric and the skirt is super floaty. It's got like a double layer, which makes it look very bouncy and floaty, which I love. This definitely needs a steam for sure, but I just love the fabric so much. I feel like it looks very expensive. And for eight pounds, I feel like this is gonna be a pretty good one. Let's go try it out. Okay guys, here is the dress. And honestly, I'm obsessed with this already and I've not even cinched it in. This is one of those dresses that's super easy to do up yourself. You literally just pull these and you can cinch it in as much as you want. I mean, look at the difference that it makes. Like it literally just makes everything so nice, so fitted. It is so smoothing. I love the way that the skirt looks. It definitely hides my little bloated belly for sure. Also, I really like that it's a little bit longer in the back and the front, but then on the side, it kind of comes up a little bit. I feel like this one would be such a great like Hindu party kind of dress. It is just perfect. Honestly, I have no complaints about this one. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 again. This next dress is honestly a steal. I kind of feel like a thief getting this dress for this cheap. It is this dress right here. It's kind of like a little asymmetrical number. It's kind of made with like a sage green sort of color, which I really like. And this, you guys, was £4.75, so almost £5. I cannot believe it. It came like this, and lo and behold, it's from Zaffle, which is very interesting again. Honestly, have I been living under a rock, or has Timu now just decided to stock a bunch of random brands. Anyways, here it is. This is the dress. It actually feels very, very nice in fabric. I'm normally quite a big fan of things from like Shein, Zaffle, those kinds of websites because the fabrics are always pretty good and everything's really affordable. Anyways, this is the dress. It feels very, very nice. It doesn't feel too cheap. I really love that like ruched kind of crossover sort of neckline. I think it looks very elegant. Obviously, there is no cups in this dress so you are gonna have to wear some kind of like sticky bra so that you don't see the strap. The dress then continues with this ruching all the way down to the bottom. I would say this is like a midi dress. I really love the color. I normally don't love green but this is like a really nice muted green. It's giving jungle vibes, very holiday coded. For like five pounds this is not a bad dress so let's go try it on and see how it fits. And here we are. Here is the green dress and what it looks like on again. I love this. I feel I feel like for a hot country kind of holiday, this would be such a vibe, especially with like this really nice big cutout. You guys know how I'm normally not into like super massive cutouts across the chest. I just don't really like to reveal that part, but I do feel like this one isn't that bad. It's done in a very like modest and tasteful way where it's not actually showing everything. So I'm definitely a big fan of the neckline. I really, really like the fact that it's like asymmetrical. I then really love the ruching. So I'm definitely a big fan of the neckline. I really like the asymmetrical vibe. I also really like the ruching across the stomach. Honestly, when I see that in a dress, chef's kiss. I just feel like it makes all the difference, especially if you're a little bit like self-conscious around your belly. It just hides any lumps and bumps, if you know what I mean. But yeah, this dress is very nicely fitted. I really like it from the front. This is what it looks like from the back. This definitely isn't the color that I would normally go for slash wear, but I really am liking it. So I'm giving this a big thumbs up. I feel like this deserves at least an eight out of 10. And now the very last dress of them all, we're gonna be trying out this one right here. This is giving skims. I said it, it's totally giving skims. This is totally a knockoff of the famous skims dress. However, instead of it being like 60 or 80 pounds, however much the original is, this one was five pounds 78. Let's try it out together. I mean, you just can't go wrong with a black maxi dress, I feel like. Okay, here it is. It's obviously not gonna be the same fabric or anything as the skims, but I have to say, 
for the price that this was, the fabric does feel very, very nice. Like, look how stretchy and opaque it is. It feels very, like, smooth, very buttery, so I feel like this is gonna be very flattering on. As you can see, it's got adjustable straps, which is great. It has quite a bit of shape on its own, like, when you hold it up. The only difference I would say about the shape of this dress is the fact that it's not very cinched in at the bottom, like, around the knees kind of height. Whereas, obviously, the Skims one is very much like an hourglass. It kind of comes out at the bottom. So I guess we'll see how this one will compare, but for six pounds, you can't go wrong. Okay, and here is the Skims dupe. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This is probably the best Skims dupe dress I've ever tried. And I have tried my fair share on this channel, as you guys know. And yeah, this is definitely like the smoothest of fabrics I've tried on a dress like this. The quality of this fabric is legit giving Skims. Like this is how I remember the Skims fabric on the original dress being. It's just so nice so soft like I cannot stop touching it that's how nice this is I would have liked it to kind of come down a little bit more at the bottom like that just to kind of like snatch the figure in a bit but it's okay it's definitely a lot easier to walk in this because look from the side you can actually stretch your legs pretty far but yeah it's still giving that really nice neckline it's still giving the snatched figure so I am so here for this dress if you guys have ever wanted the original skims dress but you didn't want to spend that kind of money this is the next best thing. Once again, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. I honestly cannot believe how lucky we've been with this video. All right, guys, so that was everything for today's video of me trying out these super inexpensive Timu dresses. I have to say, I went into this thinking, oh my gosh, these are gonna be terrible, but actually, they were not that bad at all. I feel like out of all of them, my favorite dress that I'm most impressed with is definitely that nude one. I just love the way it fitted. It just looked so much more expensive than it was. Let me know in the comments below which one of these dresses was your favorite as always thank you guys so much for watching in case you guys missed my previous video i actually updated you guys on my house build if you're new here me and my husband matt are building our own dream home which honestly is so crazy to say still we've been documenting the whole process so if you guys are into like home building and home renovation then definitely check out that video since you guys really love that video i will definitely continue to post more in-depth videos on this channel however matt and i have decided to stop posting on our vlog channel again Again, Roxy and Matt if you guys would like to subscribe that I would absolutely love that and be so grateful the vlog channel is definitely a lot more dedicated to home building home renovation traveling and that kind of stuff so I'm gonna try and update you guys on both of the channels from now on thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.